living out in the wilderness isn't all that easy, and so in order to cope with things like changing temperatures, scary predators, and harsh environments, animals have to get creative. Yet while some adaptations such as heavy fur, big teeth, or poisonous skin are pretty common, there are some adaptations that are a little stranger than others. And be it freezing up into a block of ice or changing sexes, some of these changes are actually pretty incredible. So join me for today's video as we count down the top 15 unbelievable things that animals can do. Number 15. The Frozen Frog Generally speaking, frogs can be found swimming in ponds, rivers, and lakes during the summer months. But during the winter months, most frogs either go deep underground or deep underwater and hibernate. Yet the wood frog mixes things up a bit due to its strange ability to freeze. At the beginning of winter, these freaky frogs will allow ice to fill their abdominal cavity and encase their organs, causing ice crystals to form between layers of skin and muscle. At the same time, their liver produces large amounts of glucose, preventing those cells from freezing and binding the water molecules inside the cells to prevent dehydration. In other words, this process causes ice to form outside of its cells but not form inside of them, preventing the lethal damage that's generally caused when a creature stops breathing, loses its heartbeat, and freezes solid. Due to its incredible abilities, the wood frog is now being investigated by scientists, as many believe that its ability to hike blood sugar levels up to 100 times their normal rate may provide insights that could help diabetics manage blood sugar. While its ability to freeze its internal organs may also help surgeons figure out how to potentially do the same to store human organs. Number 14. The Horror Frog Another frog. Breaking a bone is far from pleasant. As a result, most people don't purposely try to do it. However, this horror frog often engages in the unthinkable by purposely breaking its own bones. More specifically, when it's threatened, a muscle in its webbed feet will force down a claw-like bone, which then breaks and tears through the frog's skin. The frog can then use these claws to defend itself, stabbing assailants with ease thanks to a special muscle that propels its sharp bone into its prey. Now, before you start examining all the frogs in your local pond, I assure you that they're not a threat to most of us. They're only located in Cameroon. However, due to the fact that they're only about 11 centimeters in length, their sharp claws don't stop locals from killing them and eating them as a tasty snack. Number 13. The Emperor Penguin while most birds migrate to warmer areas in the fall to escape the colder winter months, the emperor penguin is one of the few that can tough it out and fully embrace those frigid temperatures. Found in Antarctica, the emperor penguin not only lives in an environment that drops to temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Celsius, but will also venture into freezing cold water for hours at a time. More specifically, emperor penguin couples will work in tandem, as while well the male will stand for weeks on end over a fertilized egg in order to protect it from frequent blizzards and high winds, female penguins will go off hunting in the freezing cold Antarctic waters, diving to depths of up to 500 meters in search of fishy snacks for themselves, their male partner, and their baby. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that despite being flightless, penguins are some of the coolest birds out there. Number 12. The Pistol Shrimp when it comes to creatures that can hit above their weight, few are quite as powerful as the pistol shrimp. That's because, despite being just a few centimeters long, they're easily nature's greatest gunslinger. You see, while the pistol shrimp has no bullets, it can create super powerful bubbles. In order to do so, the pistol shrimp simply snaps its small pincer claw and large snapper claw in a specific motion that then creates a cavitation bubble. This bubble is so pressurized that it can shoot forth at speeds of up to 32 meters per second, creating a noise that's about 200 decibels, and briefly heats the water to 4,000 degrees Celsius. For context, this is far louder than a typical gunshot, which is usually just about 150 decibels, while being only about 1,000 degrees cooler than the surface of the sun. As such, these bubbles truly are effective, and unsurprisingly, they can either kill or knock out a pistol shrimp's prey. Number 11. The Horned Dung Beetle While a creature that carts around excrement all day may not seem like a winner, the horned dung beetle is a bug that defies all expectations. That's because despite having a relatively gross-sounding day job, it turns out that it's by far the strongest creature in the animal kingdom. That's because while the dung beetle is small, the balls of excrement it rolls around can often be far larger, as it can pull around a whopping 1140 times its own body weight. For reference, that's so heavy that if the average man tried to pull off this feat, he would have to lift two fully loaded 18-wheeler trucks. 
Yet beyond their incredible strength, it also turns out that these beetles play an important environmental role. That's because they bury and consume dung. They improve the soil conditions in their habitat, allowing for more plants to grow and therefore improving the health of their ecosystems. Yeah, the horned dung beetle. It's a heavyweight and an environmental champion in the animal kingdom. Number 10. The African Lungfish While the vast majority of fish need a constant supply of water to survive, the African lungfish is one of those few aquatic species out there that can survive out of water for months on end. You see, the African lungfish generally lives in waterways that dry up during the dry season, and so in order to survive this change of water level, it can hibernate under the dry ground. In order to do so, it will secrete a thin layer of mucus around itself that dries into a cocoon, and it can remain this way for up to a year. In order to survive in this vulnerable state, it will bury itself between 2 to 23 centimeters underground, and while in there, relies on occasional rainwater in order to survive. In order to assist in this endeavor, the African lungfish's metabolic rate also slows down, while the nutrients it needs to survive come from breakdown of its muscle tissue. So yeah, the African lungfish is truly an S-tier survivor. Number 9. Buffalo Democracy While the concept of democracy has been around since the time of the ancient Greeks about 2,500 years ago, humans have not been consistent with the practice, as today's worldwide system of liberal democracy only began in earnest during the aftermath of World War II. However, African buffalo seem to have upped humans in the democracy game as they've been practicing it uninterrupted for thousands of years. Now, while male buffalo unfortunately don't have the franchise, adult female buffalo, no matter their social status, all have equal voting rights in determining where the herd goes. You see, when deciding which direction to travel in, females will stand up and look in the direction they want to go. They will do this in sequence, with the rest of the buffalo lying down until their direction is called. Once the options are exhausted, the root with the most votes wins, and the entire herd then proceeds to travel in that democratically chosen direction. So given that many human societies are not democratic at all, perhaps some political leaders have a thing or two to learn from these incredible creatures. Number 8. The Sea Cucumber While all of us have metaphorically destroyed a toilet at one point or another, the sea cucumber takes this to a whole new level. You see, while these slug-like aquatic creatures may be pretty unassuming, if a predator decides to disrupt its routine, it can fight back in a rather unorthodox way. That's because rather than bite or swim away, sea cucumbers can shoot out their internal organs through either their head or their anus in a process called evisceration. This traps the assailant in a sticky and toxic mess of goop, and these organs are apparently so toxic that predators sometimes die as a result. Now, while this method may seem like a self-destruct button, it turns out that it's actually harmless to the sea cucumber, because as soon as this happens, they can quickly regenerate their internal organs. To top this off, it also turns out that evisceration may happen in multiple different scenarios, as some scientists hypothesize that they also eviscerate to flush out parasites or to deal with stress. So yeah, it's fair to say that humans aren't the only creatures who have to occasionally flush everything out with a large number two. Number seven. Natural Sunscreen Hippos are big customers, as at about 4 meters in length, 1.5 meters in height, and up to 1,800 kilograms in weight, they have a lot of surface area that's constantly being exposed to the sun. Yet rather than receive constant sunburns, hippos are able to protect themselves by secreting a natural sunscreen. Often referred to as blood sweat, this reddish liquid in fact has nothing to do with blood, and is instead a combination of two pigments called hipposudoric acid and non-hipposudoric acid. These chemicals work together to create a colorless sweat that, after reacting to the air, turns into a viscous crimson goo that blocks out ultraviolet light. Interestingly, the substance also has a variety of other uses, as it can act as an antibiotic against skin conditions, while also acting as a water repellent to prevent a hippo's skin from becoming waterlogged when underwater. When you further consider that hippos can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes, run at speeds of up to 30 kilometers an hour, and can easily gorge anything in their path with their massive tusks, it's not hard to see why the hippo is one of the more impressive creatures in the animal kingdom. Number 6. The Marie Antoinette When a creature loses its head, in 99.9% .9 of circumstances, it's game over. However, cockroaches stand apart due to their insane ability to survive for weeks with their head cut off. You see, in most creatures, a beheading would cause them to bleed to death. 
However, rather than bleed out, cockroaches respond to beheading by clotting the area, leading to no uncontrolled bleeding. This clotting is aided by the fact that cockroaches have an open circulatory system, where blood flows freely throughout the body, keeping blood pressure low and ensuring that a large cut to a vital organ doesn't cause a fatal loss of blood. Beyond their blood preservation mechanisms, cockroaches are also assisted by the fact that they breathe through spiracles, or little holes, in each body segment. Rather than be controlled by the brain, these spiracles pipe air directly to tissues through a set of tubes called trachea, ensuring that cockroaches can continue to breathe even when headless. As a final note, the fact that cockroaches are cold-blooded also means that they require much less food than humans do, and they can survive for weeks on end with just one meal. As a result, so long as a headless cockroach isn't eaten by a predator or infected by some sort of mold, bacteria, or virus, it can survive for weeks on end without a head. Number 5. Turning Heads As cool as it would be in theory, it's simply impossible to have eyes at the back of your head. And if you tried to turn your head to see behind you, you'd only be able to go so far before your neck muscles would force you to turn back. However, species of owls are a class above humans due to their ability to turn their head almost 360 degrees so they can survey their surroundings. In order to perform this incredible feat, owls rely on a neck structure that's vastly different than that of humans. First and foremost, while a human neck is connected by two sock pivots, the heads of owls are connected by just one, allowing them to have far more neck flexibility than we do. The neck bones of owls also contain holes that are about 10 times larger, relatively speaking, than the holes found on humans, which is important since these holes likely hold air sacs that can cushion the twisting motion of the head. In order to ensure that enough blood gets to the brain during this head turning, owls also have vertebral arteries that get larger as they approach the brain, with scientists believing that this allows more blood to be pumped up there when necessary. So I think it's fair to say that few animals can scan an area quite as well as an owl can. Number 4. Clownfish While revolutions in technology have allowed humans to change their sex, clownfish have been able to do so for millennia. That's because they're one of the few creatures that can change its sex on command. Initially, all clownfish are born males, yet in order to have children, some of these males have to morph into females. This can happen because unlike most species, clownfish have both functioning testes and latent cells that can become ovaries under the right conditions. More specifically, in most clownfish groups, there will be one dominant male, one female, and up to four juvenile males. However, once the female dies, the dominant male will get the first choice of food, gain weight, have their testes dissolve, and become the female, while one of the juvenile males will become the dominant male. Now, the reason why this happens isn't entirely clear, although many scientists believe that the clownfish's preferred living arrangements play a role. You see, unlike most fish, clownfish spend most of their time in anemones, which guard them from dangerous predators of the ocean. While this keeps them safe and sound, it also means that clownfish can't swim very far to find mates, and as a result, they instead prefer to mate with whoever's in their anemone. As such, they've evolved in a way that allows this to happen for generations on end, meaning that each clownfish anemone is, in a sense, its own contained breeding ecosystem. And while some may find this a little gross and incestuous, it's simply the way things go in the world of clownfish. Number 3. Changing Eyes When humans want to change their eye color, they generally have to rely on contact lenses that can change them from blue to brown to green in an instant. However, reindeer stand apart due to the ability to perform this task biologically, and unlike with humans, the reasons behind why they do this aren't exactly cosmetic. Found in forests across North America and Europe, their northern location means that daylight hours can vary wildly depending on the season, going from very sunny all day during the summer months to almost completely dark during the winter months. As a result, their eyes can adjust from brown in the summer to blue in the winter, allowing them to better handle the amount of light. They do this through changes in their cat's eye, which is a mirrored layer that sits behind the retina. You see, this layer is made up of a collagen, which is a protein with long fibers arranged in orderly rows. In the summer months, they have a relatively large amount of space between them, but when they have to adjust to dim conditions, the pressure inside the eye builds up. This makes the fluid between the collagen fibers get squeezed out, causing them to become more tightly packed. This in turn affects the amount of light they reflect, as while the usual gaps between the fibers reflect yellow wavelengths, giving the reindeer brown or golden eyes, when squeezed together, they instead reflect blue wavelengths. 
In essence, this means that when subjected to long periods of darkness, reindeer semi-permanently dilate their pupils, creating what are almost like a pair of night vision goggles as they make their eyes far more sensitive to light. So yeah, reindeer are highly qualified to push Santa's sleigh in the dead of night. Number 2. The Immortal Jellyfish While most creatures are bound to die at some point or another, there is one creature that's a step above all of us mere mortals. Scientifically known as the Turritopsis dorni, it's better known as the Immortal Jellyfish. The species has the uncanny ability to, in theory, live forever. Found across the globe, this species is pretty easy to miss due to the fact that it's just 4.5 millimeters long, but it's fascinated scientists due to the fact that it can practically reverse aging. More specifically, once this species reaches the end of adulthood, it will simply revert backwards into a tiny blob of tissue, which then forms back into the sexually immature polyp that it was at the beginning of its life. For perspective, this is a bit like a butterfly turning into a ball of mush and then back into a caterpillar, or a frog turning into a bunch of slime and then becoming a tadpole again, making this ability pretty incredible. Interestingly enough, it also turns out that old age isn't the only trigger, as these jellyfish can also turn back into babies on command when they're under a lot of stress. And as you might expect, all of this immortalness has caught the eyes of scientists, with immortal jellyfish expert Shin Kubota of Kyoto University going so far as to claim that, quote, Turritopsis application for human beings is the most wonderful dream of mankind. Once we determine how the jellyfish rejuvenates itself, we should achieve very great things. My opinion is that we will evolve and become immortal ourselves, end quote. While this may sound exciting, the reality is that this research is far from being complete. There's always a threat that these jellyfish can be taken from the mortal world if they're killed or eaten by predators. While these jellyfish may be exciting, it may be difficult to apply their superpowers to humans. Number 1. The Axolotl While the axolotl may look pretty benign, it has superpowers that put even the heroes in the Marvel Universe to shame. Found in the waters near Mexico, the axolotl looks a lot like a salamander, although it stands apart due to its strange-looking external gills that protrude from the sides of its head. Now, In terms of size, they typically measure in at between 25 and 30 centimeters, and for thousands of years they've been part of the mythology of the local indigenous people. Yet what makes the axolotl a true standout in the scientific community is its ability to regenerate lost limbs such as organs, eyes, and even parts of their brain or central nervous system in a matter of months. They also seem to be able to readily accept transplants from other individuals, as they have a nearly flawless ability to incorporate foreign body parts into their own internal system. Now, the reason for this seems to be because they react to injuries in a way that's entirely different from that of humans. You see, when we are injured, a wound from a severed limb simply gets covered with skin tissue. But when an axolotl is injured, they transform nearby cells into stem cells, forming bones, skin, and veins in their exact original state. However, while scientists understand that they don't understand exactly how this happens, and so large amounts of research are being conducted to see if their traits could somehow be transferred to humans, the issue with the axolotl is that it's far from easy to find. That's because the species can only be found in Lake Chalco and Lake Xochimilco, with this being problematic because Lake Chalco was drained in the 1970s, while Lake Xochimilco is very polluted and filled with invasive species thanks to its proximity to Mexico City and chronic mismanagement by the Mexican government. As a result, the species is considered to be critically endangered by the IUCN, and unfortunately, it may very well be the first animal on this list to go extinct. Thank you to our channel members.